you are watching how to install custom firmware 620 pro before the permanent way. Let's turn on the PSP to check the current firmware. Ok. Go to system settings. System information. There you can see I have the official firmware 620. This custom firmware only works with this firmware version. Now let's go to game memory stick. Here there's an application that doesn't work when it's launched. Ok, let's launch the update pro. Ok, it will ask uh, what to do. Press X to run the custom firmware. It copies all files to the PCP memory flash. Then press X one more time to apply the custom firmware. Now go back to system settings, system information to check the firmware version. You can see this test is 20 Pro B4. Now go back to the memory stick. A uh, game appears, it was always on the memory stick. And if you try to launch the application, it runs. Okay, let's quit. Okay, if you press the select button, you will see the DSH menu. From here you can select custom function, like reset the device. Yes. Ok, reset the device. Ok, let's check the PSP firmware one more time by going to system setting, system information. Ok, this is the official firmware system, so this is not permanent. In order to make it permanent, go to game, memory stick, launch the update pro, press X, Press X one once one more time. This time launch the bootloader pro or permanent patch. Press X. Okay. It asks if you are if you are sure about the installation procedure. Press S to say yes. Then it asks something about a BSH main file. If you say yes, the custom firmware won't be permanent, otherwise it will it will. Okay, say no by pressing circle. Now go to system setting, system information, system setting, system information. Okay, this is the Sys20 Pro V4. Now reboot the device. And one more time, go back to the system setting. System settings. System information. And check the firmware version. As you can see, this is the Sys20 Pro V4 and this is the permanent way. Go to the game memory stick option. Okay, you see the game and the application run. 